Hey everyone, it's Ivan over here on TFB TV, here to tell you about the 9th annual Blue August Writers Event. Let's go ahead and start with what? What is it? Well, think about it as a miniature shot show, except it doesn't suck. You don't have beef jerky vendors, you're probably not going to get sick. You don't have swag whores carrying around their carts behind them, racking everyone's shins because they're too lazy to carry their stuff. And you actually have more than 15 seconds to talk to vendors. Pretty much a win. One of the vendors out there was ATI, American Tactical Incorporated. And while they have a giant lineup and a number of things on the range for us to shoot, hands down, I think my favorite was probably the Galil. Essentially starts as a parts kit. They end up making barrels as well as receivers. And thanks just a cool rifle, both from the historical standpoint and it's actually a lot of fun to shoot. Also there, got to meet the owners of Elite Iron. They make suppressors. Pretty cool. We went out on the range and did some shooting. Shot a 300 Win Mag. Thing was actually really pleasant to the year, even without Ear Pro. And also ended up shooting a really lightweight little 6.5 Creedmoor, basically a hunting gun. And on it was one of their lightweight cans. Again, light, easy handling gun, even with that can on there, and really pleasant to the year. Also presenting was Galco, Great American Leather Company. Never knew that's what it actually stood for, but they make holsters. And depending on how old you are and when you grew up, you may or may not appreciate that the shoulder holster from Miami Vice, yep, Galco shoulder holster. Lisa Maria, who basically got her start in the industry with competitive shooting, three gun, she was there presenting for Lucas Oil. And I don't know, a lot of times, gun oil, lubricant, stuff like that, it's basically snake oil. It's like, ah, uh, does it work? And usually the people can't articulate how they use it and why it works other than some crazy molecular level, which doesn't really make sense, doesn't carry weight with me. But it was cool seeing someone that actually uses a product and being able to essentially dumb it down and explain kind of the how and why. And also with respect to the, their outdoor lineup, actually what is used for what because you look at something and like okay well sure i'll try that but different things actually apply different ways to include like their grease which works on the cam pin for bolt carrier groups and ars with that you end up reducing wear but you wouldn't want to obviously lube your entire gun with grease because you attract dirt other stuff like that so it's actually really cool and definitely came away learning something if you are a ar builder probably familiar with Aero Precision, they were there. And one of the things they brought out was a full auto lower, as well as the rest of the rifle, to include one of their muzzle brakes. And when you put something on full auto, it actually gives you time to appreciate how well a brake basically handles, mitigates recoil. One company that I had heard of but wasn't really familiar with was Franklin Armory. And they had their Reformation out there, which if you're unfamiliar, it is a firearm. It doesn't fall into a short barreled rifle because it doesn't have rifling. It's straight lands and groups. And with that, people are kind of like, why? It's like, well, home defense, really. Your accuracy will absolutely diminish past like 100 yards. But up to 100 yards, you're good to go. And so what it does is it allows you basically all the features that you could throw onto a short barreled rifle in pretty significant caliber at close range. And while it doesn't stabilize the bullet, it's not intended to. You're still getting acceptable accuracy. And as soon as that hits, because it's not stabilized, it starts to tumble and now you have a better wound cavity ultimately. So pretty cool actually being able to put hands on that. Also, of course, they have their binary triggers. So every time you fire and then let the trigger go, basically there's two shots. A lot of fun to play with. Also there was the owner of Skinner Sights. If you're unfamiliar, they make peep sights for all your different lever guns. And they actually have a really rad collaborative takedown 357 lever gun that comes with a whole survival kit. Think about for a bush plane. Pretty neat setup. And one of the cooler things that they actually had there was a garment bag that held all kinds of essentially high value tactical gear. Because when people come in to maybe rob things or if you're going from your house to your car, People don't really take much notice of a garment bag. 
Arsenal came out, got to play with some of their goodness. Shooting suppressed AKs completely changes that platform, honestly. Different experience. Also, of course, their shotgun with like, I don't know, a 10 or 12 inch muzzle brake on it. I think it's pretty amazing. And also got to shoot their Rex pistol. Diamondback was out there. Think kind of pocket pistol, single stack. They had their nine mil out there. Got to shoot that. Pretty cool little pistol, super concealable. And they also have a whole line of ARs, which previously I wasn't familiar with. One of the cooler ones, probably their 308 AR pistol, which would be amazing for pig hunting. Also in attendance was Robinson Armament. I had seen, read about their stuff, never actually put hands on it. Got to shoot it. Pretty neat, kind of a total departure from most your standard regular ARs. And they had a little SBR version and got to put some rounds through that. IO Ordnance was out there. They brought out their Hellfire. Little nine millimeter pistol. Thing was a lot of fun to shoot. Also presenting was DeSantis holsters, CMC triggers, and Sun Optics. Overall, pretty rad experience, bunch of cool companies, and actually having the opportunity to talk to people, oftentimes the actual owners of the company, and kind of find out little nuances that one, there's no time for at Shot Show in your 15 seconds in a booth or two, stuff honestly you wouldn't even find necessarily on a website. Really cool experience out there. And special thank you to TFB TV sponsor, Ventura Munition, for keeping TFB TV shooting. But as always, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.